Het moment waarop het vliegtuig van American Airlines op Surinaamse wijze is ingewijd na aankomst vanuit Miami. Het was de eerste vlucht van de Amerikaanse vliegmaatschappij naar de Johan Adolf Bengel Internationale Luchthaven. Nadat het ceremonieel de strik was doorgeknipt, is er een persconferentie belegd. Volgens Vijay Chakan, directeur van NV Luchthavenbeheer, is de komst van American Airlines een historisch moment voor Suriname. De sales manager van American Airlines, Marvin Alvarez Ochoa, zegt dat de maatschappij zeer verheugd is om uiteindelijk de route naar Suriname te kunnen onderhouden. In which we celebrate the inaugural non-stop flight. Non-stop flight. It will never stop between Miami and Paramaribo. Operated by the first U.S. airline, we know it, the American Airlines. It is a great pleasure to welcome American Airlines to the Johan Adolf Pengel International Airport, but also to our country, our beautiful country. Several years ago, the Airport Management Limited set out the commercial policy to expand our route network by attracting more airlines to the PBM route. Thank you for joining us in this important day of American Airlines as we become the first and only U.S. airline to offer non-stop service to Suriname. Paramaribo will now connect five times a week with Miami Hub, our largest international gateway in United States, offering this year more than 360 daily flights to more than 130 destinations. We are proud and honored to begin new service to this culturally diverse country and an emerging ecotourism destination in South America. Suriname is an important addition to our sectional network in the region. Ambassador Karen Williams van de Verenigde Staten hoopt dat de komst van American Airlines de export zal bevorderen. 25% van de Surinaamse import komt uit Amerika en dat was ruim 290 miljoen Amerikaanse dollars in 2020 voor de COVID-19 pandemie geeft ze aan. Volgens minister Albert Jumitana van Transport, Communicatie en Toerisme wordt de connectie tussen Suriname en de Verenigde Staten verder verstevigd met de komst van, de, van American Airlines. That's around 180 miljoen en ik denk nu met deze frequent flights. Uh, I, I hope to see those numbers go up as, every, as we begin to recover uh, from COVID. I think uh, many of the speeches and, and events we've all been to over this last year or so, they've been few uh, because of the need to social distance, et cetera. And they've mostly been centered around the pandemic and, and things we can do to shorten the pandemic, uh, such as the uh, get vaccinated. I'll say it now, Libby Langa, go out, get it vaccinated. But uh, this is a happy event. Uh, this is one of the bright, bright, shining things that we've done recently. I hope will be the, begin the beginning of in our efforts to connect the rest of the world. I think that we are both on the right way and we, we will collaborate in the right manner. Welcoming a big airline like American Airlines or relatively small market is in line with the government's ideology that prosperity is only brought on by cooperation. We regard improvement to our connectivity as a key precondition and priority in the development of, this, of Suriname. American Airlines heeft nu 17 destinaties in 9 Zuid-Amerikaanse landen en versterkt daarmee zijn positie in dit continent. De Amerikaanse maatschappij gaat vijf keer per week vliegen van Miami naar Suriname, vice versa.